every night we like to take a look outside the day's top stories for something that we like to call the out front outtake. And tonight, robots made the cut. So as you know at this point, right, it's been decades since human beings have been marveling at the possibility of creating artificial life. Every generation has built a better lifelike machine. Now, originally, we created them in our own image, you know, people. But in the last few years, designers in Asia and in the U.S. have taken their inspiration from the animal world. You know, you can get dinosaurs and you can get, you can get all kinds of, look at those little birds. And now Germany is inspired, too. Of course, when the Germans decide to build an animal robot, they did not go with an adorable puppy or a kitty or a little bird. No, in true German fashion, they went big and tough. They build an ape. The German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence has created a fully functional ape bot, compete with arms, legs, an articulated spinal column, and 43 force centers. So it's able to walk on all fours, it can also stand on its hind legs, and it can react to its surroundings. And guess what? The Germans are going to make more of these apes. But before you think that the Germans are planning to raise an army of robot apes to take the world over, relax, relax, we're not going there. They're going after the moon instead, apparently, because the German ape bot is classified as a space robot, which is why the Germans are testing it on a mock lunar landscape. So according to the researchers, the ape-style body is actually the most ideal for scrambling over the moon's hilly and dusty terrain. So if all goes well, according to the Germans, their ambitions are bigger than Earth. One day, the moon could be populated by a bunch of German robot apes. Doesn't that make you feel better? Sleep well, America. AC360 starts now.